Hello and welcome to Jingling Nghe Bung Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. Now take a look at our top story at user. COVID-19 vaccination program brought in Dong Soi Dong Phu Industrial Park. Dong Soi City vaccinates children aged from 5 to 12. Burn bed presented to Dong Phu School. President up for further perfecting rules of law state projects. Vietnam elected to UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Committee. Surgery presented first exhibition in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, the Binh Phuc Industrial Park Management Board recently worked with the Provincial Department of Health, the Federation of Labor, and relevant agencies to call our businesses to speak up COVID-19 vaccination for workers at Industrial Park in Dong Soi and Dong Phu. Dr. Trương Tấn Nghĩa from the Binh Phuc Center for Disease Control told participants about regulations and policies from the party and the state as well as getting documents from the government and Ministry of Health about COVID-19 vaccinations. He also provided updates on COVID-19 situation and the importance and effectiveness of vaccinations. Though the pandemic has been largely brought under control, its complexity and unpredictability remain as new variants emerge and the effectiveness of vaccines weakens over time. COVID-19 vaccinations have reduced the rate of patients needing hospitalization or facing death. Vaccines are the most effective measure in COVID-19 prevention and control, so the Ministry of Health has urged people to receive a third or fourth shot or booster shot and to administer vaccines to children in line with guidelines from the Ministry. The health center in Dong Tsai City has carried out COVID-19 vaccination programs as clinics in its commute and walk. Many parents had taken their children to health clinics to receive COVID-19 vaccinations. The city's health sector is expected to administer about 5,000 doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines to children aged 5 to 12 in this locality. The number of children receiving a first job was higher than forecast because many went three months after contracting COVID-19 and were therefore eligible to receive the shots. Parents want their children to receive vaccinations and miss increasing concerns about the new variants. The health sector's vaccination trial at the grassroots level has met demand among local people and ensure safety by taking the initiative and making efforts to raise vaccination capacity. Chapter of the Ho Chi Minh Community Union and the Ho Chi Minh Young Pioneer Organization in Binh Phuc Province, together with the youth organization of the least deterrent company, has held a program to support children in Dong Phu District. Members of the youth organizations at the detergent company presented 46 style bang bags with 1.18 million Vietnamese dong each to certain schools in Dong Phu District. This is hoped to support needy students and contribute to improving infrastructure at schools. It also demonstrated the role of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union and the Ho Chi Minh Young Pioneer Organization chapters in taking care of children's material and spiritual lives. Youth as a least detergent company also handed over 45 bunk beds to a boarding school for ethnic minority students in Bing Phuc and 50 others to similar schools in Bu Zamab district. Ladies and gentlemen, on July the 7th, President Nguyen Sung Phuc has a working session with the Ministry of the Public Security and its scheme to build and perfect a social rules of law stakes. Participants of the working session listened to proposals of the members of the Central Public Security Party Committee, experts and centers to complete a draft project related to the functions and tasks of the police force. Discussions at the sessions focused on the organization and operation of the public security sector, including the investigation and executive agencies to ensure that human rights are protected during the process of national construction and international integration. President Nguyen Xuân Phúc, who is also head of the steering committee for building projects under the scheme to develop a strategy for building and perfecting a socialist rule of law state in 2030 with orientations to 2045, 
highly value the proposals related to the organization and operation in the public security sector, saying that many opinions contribute to developing the police force in the new situation. The state leader requested that the editorial team considers the opinions in order to further perfect the draft project. Vietnam on June the 6th was elected to the Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage for the 2022-2026 term with 120 votes, the highest among the elected country during the ninth section of the General Assembly of the State Party to the Convention 23 held in Paris. It is the second time that Vietnam has taken on this responsibility at UNESCO's key cultural governing body after the 2006-2010 term. This is of great significance in many aspects, showing the country's increasing positions and prestige in the international arena, as well as the international community's confidence in its contribution to and administration capacity as a global multilateral institutions and recognition of Vietnam's contributions in relations with UNESCO in preserving and promoting the value of intangible heritage in the country and in the world. Becoming a member of the Intergovernmental Committee of the 2003 Convention will offer an opportunity for Vietnam to contribute more actively to UNESCO's major programs and orientations in general and other country field in particular thus affirming its role and prestige at UNESCO and the international arena. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism in develop specific plans focusing on the sharing of best practices in the protection and promotion of cultural heritage values and the realization of the Convention's goal for sustainable development and promotion of UNESCO priorities and the improvement of awareness the Convention 2003 has been ratified by 180 countries, with Vietnam being among the first 30 entering the Convention. More than 10 Vietnamese outstanding enterprises have extended the Prima Vision of 2022, an important event for entire tech tie industry which takes place from July the 5th to the 7th at an exhibition centre in Paris, France. Addressing the opening of the Vietnamese display at the event, Vietnamese Ambassador to France Ding Tuan Thang said, the participation of Vietnamese businesses in this fair is extremely meaningful, reflecting the business's desire to promote cooperation with France and other countries. According to the Ambassador, the vietnam EU Free Trade Agreement, which took effect in August 2020, is an important legal foundation for Vietnamese enterprises in general and the textile sector in particular in conquering the French and EU markets in the coming time. The EU is a large-end potential market, but there are also choosy customers. Attending such event will help Vietnamese businesses understand the demand and taste of the clans. Joining the fair offers a good opportunity for Vietnamese businesses to introduce their products. I believe that they are capable of attracting and persuading international customers. With over 3 million workers, Vietnam's textile garment industry is one of the key export industries and has achieved strong growth in recent years with total turnover of over $40 billion per year. Premier Vision is the largest and most prestigious fair of the textile and fashion industry in France, attracting more than 60,000 visitors and 1,200 international exhibitors in five major divisions, namely casual wear, office and sports fashion, jeans wear and jacket. Over 50 works by modern Vietnamese masters from the early generation of the Indochina School of Fire will be showcased at the Sotheby first exhibition in Vietnam entitled Timeless Soul Beyond the Voices. As the first exhibition in Vietnam held by the leading arts brokers in the world, the public event is one of the largest Indochina art exhibitions ever staged in the country. 
taking place from July 11 to 13 in Ho Chi Minh City. The non-selling exhibition features over 50 works by Lê Thị Lu, Lê Phổ, Mai Trung Thư, and Vũ Cao Đàm, who migrated to France in early 20th century. The works on display illustrate the years of artists live abroad, with familiar subjects constructed from threads of memories of Vietnam while weaving new perspectives from their journey in France. Đà Nẵng, Hà Nội and Ho Chi Minh City had been listed among the best cities in Southeast Asia in Asia Best Award 2022 for tourists recently unveiled by the Travel Leisure magazine. Asia's Best Awards 2022 suggested destinations, resorts and restaurants, among others, to try in the region. The list were compiled based on votes from readers around the world from January to April this year. Among the three Vietnamese cities in the list, Da Nang Kham 3rd, Hanoi 5th, and Ho Chi Minh City 8th, Bangkok of Thailand holds the number one position. Meanwhile, Phu Quoc and Quang Dao of Vietnam are among the best islands in Southeast Asia, respectively standing at the 4th and 10th places. Phuket of Thailand tops this list. The awards also cover outstanding tourism brands in each country. For Vietnam, there are lists of the best restaurants, hotels, bars, pizza, hotel pools, and beach or upcountry resorts. The gates have been flung wide open and Vietnam's up away. Who would have thought in lockdown last year, this year would be a position not to say Xin Chao to international tourists. While the plan to welcome 5 million visitors by year's end might be ambitious, the Vietnamese are sure going to give it a try. With quarantine-free travel and no COVID-19 test requirements for entry, according to Travel and Leisure. And that's all for today. Thank you for being there with us and see you next time.